will step aside one more time when we come back. An in-depth look at a state champ with a special talent for blocking out distractions. Stay with us. I think it had to be the first game I played in my senior year. I caught a 67 yard touchdown pass, the first pass play. You did? Yeah. Had a pretty good game. I was the main player of the week for that week, so had a good game. And that's, you know, that's one of the better memories. And, you know, it's always just, you know, having a lot of fun, you know, with your friends, right? You know, and getting getting ready to go to college was one of the, one of the highlights, too. My dad was a school teacher, so that was one of the first things that I had to uh, had to do was uh, as soon as I got home was hit the books or do the homework or whatever I had to do that day. And then it helped out a lot. I was able to get a marketing degree in uh, college and, you know, something to fall back on. Time now for our featured student athlete. And this week we have an exception to the rule. You see, this show is about high school student athletes. And this week's subject hasn't even reached his freshman year. Rich Hollenberg's here with this curious case. Thanks, Todd. Chris Colwell is only five foot one, and he weighs just over 100 pounds, but he towers over his competition with his mental approach. As you'll see, Chris has an impairment that in the world of competitive diving, he actually uses to his benefit. It gives new meaning to the term hearing aid, and it's just one of the reasons Chris is an Olympic caliber diver and our featured student athlete. must have total concentration. You need complete clarity. You have to block out everything but the dive. In a sport where your focus is what sets you apart, Chris Colwell is unique, not only for his ability, but also for his disability. Actually, the fact that Chris is without 65% of his hearing is no disadvantage at all. I really think that it, it gives Chris the ability to concentrate better, to have all the noise and distractions removed that some of the other divers have to face. Uh, he has an incredible power of concentration. I, I've got to believe that some of that's attributable to his hearing loss. Near the end of the road, um, I don't really hear anything. And, and for most people, sometimes they can hear something and it bothers them while they're trying to concentrate. So I think that helps me a lot. Chris uses it as a tool. He simply, you know, just learns to turn off. It's like, you know, he just turns his ears off. When Chris tunes everything out, it usually means he's locked in, whether it's in one meter, three meter, or platform competition. Hearing impaired or not, he's already established himself as one of the top young divers in the country. Anywhere he goes and performs, it's, it's obvious to anybody that sees him that he is outstanding. Chris just turned 14, and already he's laid claim to five junior national titles and three North American titles in the Can-Am X Games. At this year's junior nationals, Chris took home a silver and a bronze in his first year of senior competition. And closer to home, this diminutive diver also owns a high school state championship representing Tampa Prep. All this before he reached the eighth grade. Chris's parents are his biggest backers making sure their son gets to all the two-a-day practices and traveling with them to every diving competition. Oh, it's got to be the most incredible feeling that you've ever had in your life to watch your son compete like that and excel the way he does. Uh, he's, he's done so well for so long. During the school year, it gets tough for Chris to balance his diving and keep up his grades. After school, I have diving, and it just makes it harder for me to do um, my homework. So I just have to, like, find more time to do my homework. That usually means hitting the books at the pool, and yes, even on the weekends. And the payoff for all this? One moment in his diving career when it all comes together. We're working hard so to have one really good day to say it was worth it. But leave it to Chris, the diver with the killer concentration, to keep things in focus. Sometimes I'm going to have a bad day, sometimes I'm going to have a good day, but I still have fun. After the Junior Nationals in Largo a month ago, Chris went on to the Senior Nationals in Atlanta, where he reached the semifinals in the three-meter competition. And considering he's still a year away from the ninth grade at Tampa Prep, TK, you could bet Chris will end his high school career with more than one state title. And last year, he won his state title in the one-meter competition, which is his least favorite event. Thanks a lot, Rick. Okay.